This is really a star-studded event. This year, you've uh, taken it to new heights. I have to congratulate you. New heights. Because you've got some of the guys from Duck Dynasty here. Yeah. Duck Dynasty! Yeah. The guys from Duck Dynasty are here, which can only mean one thing. The guys from Storage Wars said no. No, I love Duck Dynasty, don't get me wrong, but guys, I really don't think your Streisand whistle's gonna... Oh my God, it works, she's here! It's incredible. I always hated that one. Hey, now as some of you know, this is my second time speaking at this event. I was last here 18 years ago, back in 1995. A lot's changed since then. Today you can get real-time information on world events from something small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Back in 95, we called that George Stephanopoulos. I can't see if George is here because there's a crouton in the way. It's amazing to think how much our country has changed in 18 years. Think about it. If in 1995 you told me that in 2013 we'd have an African-American president with a middle named Hussein who was just re-elected to a second term in a sluggish economy, I would have said, oh, he must have run against Mitt Romney. <laughs> By the way, no offense, Mr. President, I do congratulate you on your victory, but as a late night comedian, I was kind of pulling for the rich guy whose horse danced in the Olympics. <laughs> Some people say print media is dying, but I don't believe it. And neither does my blacksmith. <laughs> you gotta meet Zachariah, he's great. But I would like to take a moment here and change gears and say something to the president uh, regarding the events of the past two weeks. Uh, some of you may not know this, I grew up uh, in Boston. My parents still live there and my brother Luke uh, raised his family in Watertown. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, Mr. President, uh, for visiting that great city and helping its people begin to heal with your inspiring new words. It made a huge difference. It's been said recently that you don't mess with Boston. As someone who grew up there, I'd like to echo that sentiment. It's really pretty simple. If you're going to pick on a city, don't choose one where nine out of ten people are related to a cop. Well, tonight I'm excited to announce that Turner Broadcasting is going to make a major television miniseries about the big power players here in Washington. They just finished the casting, and I would like to announce who is going to play who. This is big. Vice President Joe Biden is going to be played by Bob Barker. <laughs> Former White House advisor David Axelrod will be played by Higgins from Magnum P.I. <laughs> this was also produced by Steven Spielberg, by the way. Representative Paul Ryan will be played by Mr. Bean. <laughs> Senator Chuck Schumer will be played by Grandpa Munster. Senator Harry Reid will be played by the old man from the American Gothic painting. Fox News CEO Roger Ailes will be played by Boss Hogg. We signed the deal. Speaker of the House John Boehner will be played by Tan Mom. Secretary of Homeland Security Janet Napolitano will be played by Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Former White House Chief of Staff and Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel will be played by Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> Secretary of State John Kerry will be played by an Easter Island head. I cannot tell those two apart. 
Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts will be played by Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell will be played by Dame Edna. <laughs> CNN anchor Wolf Blitzer will be played by a Furby. <laughs> NRA Executive Vice President Wayne LaPierre will be played by the face melt guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> and finally, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney will be played by Ralphie from A Christmas Story. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge honor. Thank you very much. Thank you.